video for anybody that's interested to show you what we do up here in the north as bottle diggers and scuba divers in the uh, winter time when you really can't help. I could dig today if I wanted, but it's yeah, cold, windy. Um, just wanted to show and share this place that I dive. Um, you can see I'm standing right here in this little park and uh, you can see this map is 1877 and these old ships and schooners used to come and they would dock right here and it created a bunch of trash along here over the course of 100, 200 years and as well as those houses out there which are here on the map they look like good privy possibilities but I've tried and I haven't got um, any luck there yet um, but uh, I just, what I wanted to show was in the old days schooners would come up here the river was wider um, and the dam that's there now wasn't built to the extent that it is right now and uh, so I've, I'll quickly show you where I find stuff from those ships this was the edge of the dock right here these old cut granite stones and uh, I have found stuff from this I found an old 1700s wine bottle right right in there and all the way out through here the channel in the middle where um, I usually come out this far and get into the channel and go down and dig into the into the silt at the bottom and it's kind of a continuous batch of trash not a whole lot but um, occasionally I would find a bottle and I would dig deeper and it'd still be finding bottles so this whole banking has got residue and litter and trash from the last 200 years in it um, I stopped going because I would see the shards and things that I left from the year before and nothing had changed and it really felt like I had got all there was to get. But this year we just had this big massive flood. Um, that's the river that comes all the way from the White Mountains and right now all the water is rushing down, melted snow. It rained really hard on top of snow so the water is blasting down here and this is higher than I've ever seen it. So it goes to... Uh, it leads you to believe that what is happening down at the bottom here hasn't happened in a long time where where the silt and everything down at the bottom is getting strafed away hopefully exposing some new um, trash which I'll check out as soon as, as it's reasonable but the uh, kind of a confusing thing is that uh, that dam when this is a tidal river so this at low tide this drops about eight seven eight feet down and Right out there, you can see dry land. You can almost walk waist deep out across the river, and then at high tide, it rise, rises way back. Um, but that's not gonna happen until that dam, you'll come down, and the only water coming over that dam is coming down that little side channel. It's the river, fresh water coming down, flows into here, river keeps flowing, but really slowly. But right now, when it's low tide, that water is gonna keep blasting over there because the, the snow melt um, so I will have to wait until there's no water blasting over that anymore and it's low tide and then I'll be able to get in and see I'll be able to kind of walk out I could snorkel anybody could snorkel and find stuff and hopefully there's a whole new batch of stuff out here in the spring so hopefully I can uh, be lining up bottles up on the rocks here that are uh, good finds so I don't know if I'll use this but I find it really interesting and maybe some of you will as well something in the water down there. Something kind of big. I think it's a seal. There he goes. Look at him, he's upside down. Think it's an otter? I think it's too small to be a seal. Up, oh, you went that way. There he is.
he goes out to sea. He's out under the docks now. You ever seen him before here? That's crazy. Yeah? Have a good day. Digging what you'd call a city dump alongside a river. This whole banking I've dug in the past, and uh, being it's winter time, I don't have any other good alternatives. Got a hole going, but not too much. Got a local milk and a Atlas Mason. I'm, I'm sitting here, and I'm looking over there. <clears throat> Look at that blue thing. I'm pretending it's a rare insulator or tea kettle ink. Uh, my eyes aren't good enough. And I can walk all the way down there. Or, as I would have done when I was younger, I would have climbed across that tree. Hmm. Maybe when I magnify it, I'll be able to tell what it is. Take care of that. That's an old house. That's an old house. That's an old house. Those are all new houses. And this bank has been all ripped to shreds at some point. But I see a lot of some sort. It looks old. Look at that, it's in one piece. I think I've had this one before. Let me sit short on the camera. Yes, it's up. You call that a pony. From New York, J. F. Hughes, New York. I've seen cracks, trademark with the logo. It's pretty stained, but I love blob tops. Oh, short one, so that was that was worthwhile. I'll stick that up there for my trip back, but. So I'll have to poke it. See what else is in here. Thank you.